Hello Gemini, and welcome to Blunt Sagi Tarot. My name is Robin, and today we're going to do a general reading. We're going to do ooh, past, present, future. We're going to find out what's coming your way, what you're dealing with, what's going on. Looks like you're getting a little oracle reading here. This happened the other day too. They got a lot of messages, Gemini. It is a general reading, so please take the messages that resonate. Leave the ones that do not. But if you're guided here, there should be a message that resonates with you. So we have not for you. Okay. Ooh, all that glitters. Never ending story. Okay. Okay. And building blocks. It's pretty clear here, Gemini, what is going down. So this not for you is very much so a person. <laughs> so I feel like you're dealing with an ongoing circle, an ongoing saga, the never ending story here. Somebody presented themselves, you know, it's like they, they come to you and they present themselves like the emperor, but you find out they're really just, um, just a page wearing a gold suit. You know what I mean? So they were not what they claimed to be. It's not what you wanted at all. Um, but it's like a never ending story. Why is this? I feel like you're going in circles with this person. Why is the never ending story here? Cause it looks like you're rebuilding. I feel like you closed out this, um, this never ending story, the King of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So, um, very, very, um, alpha male-esque alpha male type i don't even know what i just said there but the king of wands so a fire sign aries leo sag specifically leo um ace of pentacles so they offered you the world they offered you everything but they gave you nothing it's really what i see um they all they're all talk they talk but they don't come through with anything so it's like they offer you the world they tell you they're gonna take you to malibu but they take you to timbuktu you know so <laughs> i don't know why i said that anyway so Gemini, I feel like you're ready to move past this person. You're building on and you're moving forward. So the question is why, what do you want to say about the building? Well, that flew over here. Page of cups. Okay. So, so it looks like something new is going down for you. So it's like if you're feeling frustrated and you're feeling like this little fairy and your wings are depleted and you're just very sick of going through the same shit, something new is coming here for you, Gemini. So keep an eye out for a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, could be younger than you but definitely a message of somebody that wants to build something new do you want to say anything else about this page of cups and this building page of cups the emperor in reverse and the four of swords they're not gonna they're gonna be nothing it's funny that he came up because that's the exact example that i used so gemini this page of cups will be nothing like this emperor they will be exactly what they claim to be. It's not going to be a, something big right from the beginning. They're not going to come in with this grand gesture of love and offer you marriage. They're going to offer you a little something. Let's get to know each other, Gemini. Let's hang out. Let's have some fun. I like your vibe. All right. So let's see what else the tarot has to say because um, I was doing a tarot reading, but turned into an oracle reading. So what else does the tarot want to add? What do you want to say about this to Gemini? Show us what messages you have and what you want to say to them. Six of Cups. This is your going to be your dream come true. Six of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So if you've been feeling bored anchoring this, if you've been feeling bored, if you've been feeling left out, if you've been feeling like your cup's not full, oh, everything is about to change. Like this is you're going to be, this person is your dream come true. This is what you've been dreaming of, waiting of. Ace of Swords is the card of success, the card of clarification too. So there's definitely a connection here and you're pretty giddy and excited about it. You're giddy as fuck. Um, you're not going to be feeling bored for much longer, Gemini. So if you've been feeling bored or feel like you keep meeting the same people, it's like every time you go out, it's like the same person is in front of you. It's like, I don't want this anymore. You got no worry about nothing because something new is arriving for you. That kind of rhymed. It really wasn't meant to, but hey, let's go with the flow here. So the romance oracles, what do you want to say to Gemini? What message do you have for Gemini? So if you're waiting for love, Oh, it's coming. And it's a water sign. And they could be younger, too. If you're attracting some younger. New love. That's right. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So if you haven't met this person yet, Gemini, they're coming. They are on their way. They're going to be here before you know it. So what do you have to surrender to? What does Gemini have to surrender to when they meet this person? What does Gemini have to surrender to when they meet this? Oh, that curtain is right out. Surrender comparisons with other people. You know, I get the feeling that they are younger and you're worried about maybe judgmental. I don't know, judgment, but keep your keep your eyes trained on yourself. 
focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. So just focus on yourself. If there is an age difference, you know, don't let what other people are going to say or think about that deter your choices that you make. I do get the vibe that that's the case. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so what's the, what's the lesson here? What message do you have for Gemini? What do you want to say? Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. There's only one person in this world that can make you happy, and that's yourself. No one else can do that job for you. And let's get your oracle message here. We'll definitely um, pull like a potential outcome and your obstacle, which is kind of like a totally different way of doing a tarot reading, but hey, <laughs> I just do what the cards do, right? I just do what they say. So what message do you have for Gemini? What do you want to say? The thinking man. All right. Card at number 46, which breaks down to 10, which is also the end of a cycle, right? And we see that never-ending story. It's coming to a cycle. That end is closing. So in card number 46, um, as always, Gemini, when one of the Energy Oracle deck comes out, the message is in the book. Let's get your message for you. Okay, so this man is thoughtful and reflective, representing a potential presence of a teacher in your life or about to arrive. This person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction, or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuit. This card is telling you to pay attention, for this could lead great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way, or perhaps just a male friend, but he is on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, technique, course of study, or healing practice could change your life forever. So pay attention and keep your eye out for this masculine energy coming in. And what message do you have? Oh, there it comes. Stop dwelling on the past. It's time to forgive and move on. Even if you don't forgive to hang out with that person, just forgive so that you can move on because it really does only hurt you to hold on to that. All right, so talk to us. This is kind of a shorter reading, um, but let's see where the potential outcome is. What's the potential outcome here for Gemini and this person? Where is this going to be in a month? That's usually what I go for when I'm doing potential outcome. <laughs> so a month's time, where's Gemini going to be with this person? It's going to be happening. The Ace of Cups. What? Oh, but the Nine of Cups. Oh, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. Let's see what else is here. Show us the potential outcome in a month from now. There's always free will, which is why we say potential, Gemini. The Four of Coins in reverse. The King of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. It's interesting. Um, so if you felt like there's a delay in your happiness, in your love, in finding love, that's all changing. <laughs> Look at the, the Ace of Cups. So it's it's going in the right direction, but I feel like you're making the choice to... Um, you've released what you needed to release. So I feel like there was something holding on. And maybe there's this resentment. Maybe there was something from the past. But this Four of Pentacles is you releasing something, which has allowed you to move forward with passion. I feel like there's a lot of passion for this person. What I don't understand is that Three of Pentacles in reverse. So let's just find out what the message is there. So on the bottom is the Seven of Pentacles, which is um, planting the seeds. But the Three of Pentacles is not working on something, not collaborating, not being a team. So what do you want to say about this Three of Coins in reverse? Okay, so... There's going to be challenges in the sense of um, in the sense of communication. There's the four pentacles in reverse again. So and so just be, that's the reason that the, the, the reason you always wonder like the story the reason the stories come out right like what's the purpose what's the message that you need to hear why are you sitting here watching this so if you are there's going to be some slight issues with communication with teamwork with the balance of the relationship this is going to be an abundant new beginning they're they're still here we have the ace of cups there's a lot of passion and a lot of lust but I feel like there's going to be a slight issue with communication. So you're Gemini. You should be able to um, really work on that. Maybe they don't have the strongest communication skills because they're a little bit younger. Um, so you're really going to have to jump into the Empress role and really uh, hone down and make sure that there's strong communication. I feel like that will be a slight obstacle. Um, and it's by, by, by taking control. I feel like you will have to take control here, Gemini. Just help guide the communication along. Um, but I feel like it looks great. A lot of passion, 
um, and you're planting the seeds, you know, you're building and there's the page of pentacles and there's the emperor upright, right? So the, you guys are working on this. You're planting those seeds, you're building, you're getting to know each other, you're building the foundations, um, but you are going to be in control here. Um, whether you're the masculine or the feminine, you're going to have to be the alpha and really, really control that communication to make sure there's no issues there to, to avoid potential problems, Gemini. All right, so let's get your healing message and then we'll get your yes or no answer to close out your reading. So I hope that's what you wanted to hear. It looks pretty promising to me. You'll be building, working on that. Closing out that old cycle, which is nice. Start 2022 the right way, right? All right, so your healing message. Take five or more minutes to concentrate on a divine feeling or a higher thought. Doing your best to block out all other distractions. So meditate and connect and your yes or no question so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed your reading so yes or no the answer is yes all right until next time thanks gemini